Hello. In recent time, I have seen that many people don't know how they can optimize their uh, render results um, in terms of rendering speed and render optimization. And so I thought it's it's a good opportunity to make a very short, um, quick tip tutorial about how you can output render stats and how you can visualize them. So yeah, let us dive into that. Um, what you see here is basically the Houdini Hive Earth Sphere. And this is basically the, the scene that I've used um, to produce this. I have reduced the image size to have a, a shorter result, a shorter render time for the tutorial. And what you basically, when you create a new RIS node or a new render man node, you basically have an option here is called render statistics. This is what you have to check on. And what you basically get is this or, or those two lines. And what you what you need to do is basically fairly easy. You go into your render output folder or wherever you want and you create a file called render test or how you will name it and dot stats. That's the first file. And the second file has to be exactly named the same, except it has to be the ending dot XML. And that's it. And then you basically, highly important, you need to render to background. So I save this file and I render to it right now and I hit render. And this is my first test. So it should start now. And yeah, here it goes. So um, the image is finished. Um, I have accelerated the uh, rendering um, so that the tutorial is not so long. And yeah, we have output it. And when you now open your um, render directory or your uh, save path for those files, you basically get those two files. The render dot stats and the render dot xml and the only thing that you need to do now is to open this xml with your browser and this is what you got so you basically get a heat map a render time heat map that's the first site basically and you get an overview about the time consumption and the memory consumption of the render process and some other overview stats you can turn to expert view. There you have a lot more options on top. And yeah, you basically can dive down into how much time shadow rays have used and yeah, lighting rays, shading rays, lighting samples, and so on. You can go to your memory tab and see how much memory the geometry um has spent in, in this case only 61 megabytes. And yeah, if you use tessellation and so on, you see that. The most important thing for me is the integration tab. In the integration tab, you see your basic um, settings. It's called, um, I have set the clamp values of the bounces to two. Um, and I did that because um, I have already optimized this render uh, result. So when I would have three bounces, the third column would be very, very low. So I basically um, clamped the lowest column away. I'm sorry, that was my phone. So basically, when you when you look into the integration tab, you can see how much or how less um, race you got in the rendering so you can see yeah okay 
the third column is very low, I maybe can uh, get rid of the third column and save render time. And this is basically what I have done. You also see um, the sample heat map, which shows you the average sampling in the image. Uh, in, my, in this example, it was 32 samples per pixel. So you can basically dial down the maximum to somewhere around 40 or 50 and save additional render time if you if you want that so this will really helps you to optimize your render times and yeah there are also other tabs like shading lighting you see um this is the time that you've spent on on the sample generation the texture uh, filter filtering stuff what textures you have loaded um how much ram you have used for the textures same for geometry if you have procedurals and yeah so here you can basically this is a really really nice help on the expert tab you see a lot more information like the ray tracing accelerators um, how much bounces you have and so on and also for texturing texture filter filters and so on brick maps i don't know if random man in houdini has brick maps um but yeah that's the way to go to optimize your scene so i hope this helps you and what i show you now is um basically a very quick um sneak peek of the current tutorial i'm working on i call it currently work on a very very heavy shot i mean that's the most or that's the heaviest shot i've ever worked on in a personal project and what you see here are all render man layers outputted with run with one render man run so basically render man was able to output all these beauty passes and layers in one go and what i can basically show is i have outputted um stuff like this bench uh, i also optimized everything here and the ground and so on and also all those uh, tiny layers like the ivy on the building and yeah basically beauty passes over 40 and this was outputted yeah in one go and this is um a project which i hopefully can present in about two weeks it is really complex. I never thought that this could be so complex, this um, s small idea. And yeah, I hope you will look at it. And it will also show how you can use grid markets in that regard. And yeah, have a nice weekend. Bye.